Hello out there! This is Wake Angel 2001, and it's time to bring you something we haven't seen in a while. A Sonic Boom toy review! That's right folks, the new stuff is finally hitting store shelves. I would argue that it's a couple of months late because the 25th anniversary, which is the perfect time for this, was back in June and now it's mid-August. But whatever, we finally got new merch! Uh, this is the Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman set, which has that new Eggmobile and a new Sonic figure mold. Uh, now, it comes in this open box packaging, and full disclosure, I hate open box packaging. If your set does not have a try me feature, then it should not be in open box packaging. The reason being because this is prime for getting abused in store. You have people who break stuff when they when they try to fiddle around with things that they think are try me's but are actually not. And worse yet, you have people who steal the minifigures out. Like I'm predicting in a relatively short order, I'm going to be seeing these on the shelves with the Sonic and Eggman figures plucked off. Um, yeah, I hate open box packaging. I really wish that they didn't have those. So let's get the figures off the packaging and take a brief look at the packaging before we move on. Um, nothing really to say in the front except that it's a, that's a pretty nice loop-de-loop -loop there. But let's take a look at the back. Showing the action feature at work. Showing the exploding nature of the Eggmobile, yada yada. Let's take a quick look at a preview of the next figures. Now you've already seen the, sh the Metal Sonic and Shadow figures, but then they have Crabbot. Um, um, I'm gonna call it Motobug because that's freaking Motobug. Um, Bebot, which they call Buzz Bomber. A Knuckles in a new pose to make it look more like he's punching. Um, Sonic and It's funny, they show the Sonic and Shadow 2-pack, and then there's the Shadow and Metal Sonic 2-pack. Unless it's an advertisement for the single carded figures. Actually, yeah, it is, because they have their individual item numbers. Well, these are two figures to one item number. So look at that. It looks like Crabbot and Motobug are going to be single carded figures. Although Bebot, which is a smaller one, is probably being packaged with the, with the Knuckles figure so they don't have to lower the price point. Then they have the Sonic Eggman pack, which we already saw in the stores. And then apparently there's going to be a remote controlled um, Sonic, Sonic um, board. Because that is an electronic controller there. And apparently you can, it'll have a, an interchangeable Sonic and Tails figure. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so let's take a look at the actual toys that come with the set. So here are Dr. Eggman in his new Eggmobile and Sonic on his new board. And I'm realizing that the color of my backdrop probably wasn't the best choice given the color of Dr. Eggman's coat. Um, hold on, let me see if I can remedy that. There we go, much better. Okay, so let's take everything uh, one at a time. Let's get Eggman and the new Eggmobile out of the way so that we can take a look at the Sonic figure since it's probably going to be done faster. Alright, so um, at first blush I'd say that this Sonic figure does what I don't like Sonic figures to do. Well, any figures really. And that is assume a pre-assumed stance. Uh, there is some posability to this figure still. Let's get him off his board. Um, where he still has all the same points of articulation. His head swivels, and he has universal shoulders, both of them, and swivel hips, individually jointed hips. The thing is, um, I guess from certain angles, it can sort of look like he's taking a running stance. Although, um, this isn't really... This is, <laughs> um, what this figure actually is, is Breakdance Sonic. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, get down. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this is, this is too cool for school, Sonic. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. Um, there is an extra peg hole in his hand, however, and an extra peg on the board. See, 
he has the two on his feet that are intended to go there, but then the one in his hand can go there in the middle, and you can have you can have crazy handstand Sonic. That's kind of fun. I mean, if the figure isn't going to be able to take on many poses outside of the pre-assumed ones, you can say at least he can do wacky things. Like, this actually really helps. Now, I don't so much mind the pre-assumed pose. A uh, quick comparison with the original Sonic. You can see that, uh, it's still the Boom Sonic. And maybe his torso looks a little bit longer because of the way they painted his belly patch. Let's see. There, see? Uh -huh. And the glasses are molded into place. You know what this really reminds me of? Yep, complete homage to Freerider Sonic. The lenses and the, the lenses and the frames are even the same color. Not the, not the same, uh, not the same shape, but the same color. Of course, um, this one, the shades are a removable accessory, while on the other one, they are, they are a permanent part of the face mold. And no, you can't stand him on his board because the pegs are completely different sizes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It still kind of looks cool, though. Uh, as for the board itself, I kind of like it. It kind of looks like one of those peanut-shaped popsicle sticks, like like the popsicle spoon you get when you buy certain kinds of ices. Um, I forget what they're called, like the Italian ice. And uh, with that big muffler thing coming off the back, it kind of looks like a steampunk version of the Extreme Gear. Like, uh... Like, yeah, complete homage to Sonic Riders, the, the first two ones, which were actually good. And it has four wheels down there, and it rolls pretty well. So, yeah, that's, that's Sonic and his new board. Also, um, one more size comparison. <clears throat> this was the little riding board that the Knuckles gimmick figure came with. Yeah. Remember, the Knuckles figure that rode this board was the same size as a Sonic figure meant to ride this board. So as you can see, they sacrificed the uh, flywheel um, gimmick that makes it race across the floor by um, just make, giving it little Hot Wheels wheels so that it can actually scale with the characters as it appeared in the cartoon. So, yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice a gimmick to get scale. That that's kind of makes it more collector friendly, right? All right, and here's what everybody really wants to talk about: the Doctor Eggman's Egg Pod, brand new, the a brand new Eggmobile with a whole new gimmick. Uh huh. So yeah, let's take a quick look at that by first removing the Eggman figure and accidentally firing off a missile, so we can compare him to the previous Eggman figure. This is the Eggman that came with my first Eggmobile. <laughs> Not the single carded one. So, taking a look at them side by side, they are the exact same mold. There is absolutely no difference in their mold. Not even the way their arms are positioned. And there is no difference in the paint job either. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, I guess, to its credit, I can be happy that they did not skimp on him just because he's a re-release. I mean, it would have been tempting to skip on his paint apps because he's being packaged with a more complicated gimmick vehicle, but they did not. So, this is still every bit as good the Eggman as from the previous one. So, if you missed out on the first Eggmobile, then, um and you don't have an Eggman, then the Eggman that comes with this Eggmobile is just as fine. Except, um, I don't know, I see, like, a little bit of mold flash on his fingers, especially on his right hand. Like, they didn't cut it out of the runners properly. But that's a, that's a very minor quibble. Let's take a look at the two Eggmobiles side by side before we have anything in them.
Okay, so I'm pretty sure the differences are quite obvious. Uh, one of them being that the original Eggmobile has a translucent windscreen, while this one just has a solid shell of plastic. That has to do with the exploding gimmick. And this one just has little painted-in guns near the bottom, while this one has two functioning firing missiles. Um, they are also obviously not the same mold. As you can see, there are things in different places. Like maybe the mold was duplicated slightly so that they could keep it looking the same. But there's obviously a lot of new stuff here like like the, the gun placement. Like I guess this is the same shape although it's not painted black. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a higher parts count on this but definitely fewer paint apps. Like they got this part. Notice that it's a lighter blue than this. Like this is like a sky blue and this is more of a really light turquoise. Um, there's no black here. The, the missiles are black, but the gun barrels themselves are not painted. The, this yellow stripe still comes through. The black is still there. From the side, there's a little paint tap here on the new part. That's cool. Um, and this has always been a sticker decal, so it's the same sticker, even if it's a slightly different color. And inside, where the interior of the original one was mostly black, this one has a, a black um, cockpit, like the, the joysticks and stuff, while the interior is just smooth gray plastic. Also note the little engine exhausts are not uh, painted in. Also, this one has wheels. It rolls. I mean, that was, that was its gimmick, that it was a rolling vehicle. This one... I just fired the missile again. This one looks like it has wheels, but these are not wheels. They're mere nubs. This is the kind of toy that I can see kids scraping the crap out of it as they force it along the floor as if it has wheels when it clearly does not. All right, so before I put Eggman in there, uh, there are two missiles. Their triggers are inside the cockpit, funnily enough. And just like the Tails plane, they actually fire really well. Nothing wrong with these missiles. They are great missiles. Whoop. All right, so let's get the Eggmen in there so that we can see what they look like with their riders. So as you can see, both of the Eggmobiles seat Dr. Eggman exactly the same way. There's a peg on the floor that goes into a hole on one of the feet. And Dr. Eggman is in the pod standing. Same way he was before. No seats in this thing. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like, it still looks really cool. And the extra technical stuff hanging from the bottom, it really harkens back to the old days where, remember when the boss was like Dr. Eggman's egg pod that attached itself to some greebly techno stuff? And then after you defeated the boss, everything would explode and the pod would eject itself and fly away? Now you have that. You have, you have the, the, the weaponized pod, and then you have the pod that, that flies away after he's defeated. All right, so thank you for your cameo, former Eggmobile. Let's get you out of the shot so we can concentrate on new stuff. Um, so yeah, although I kind of have said most of the stuff I was going to say about it, haven't I? Um, so th that is the Eggmobile. It looks, it looks really cool. Um, maybe they could have at least painted these parts, um, like that, that yellowish tan color. Like even if they couldn't make it translucent, they could still make it look like a windshield, you know? <laughs> like, cause it just looks like this is all solid metal. I mean, it's not like it has to be a window because he doesn't exactly sit behind it, but, you know, they, they should have committed to the look is all I'm saying. Um, all right, so that is just... that that uh, The firing missiles and the fact that it looks cool are all well and good, but there is, of course, one more gimmick that the thing is famous for. So let's go ahead and show that gimmick. So, the big advertised gimmick of this particular toy line is similar to Burnbot in that it's the exploding Eggmobile. 
Like, this thing is supposed to blow up when Sonic hits the front of it. So, there's the trigger. Here's the little Sonic figure. We're gonna see how well it works. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. I mean, you gotta aim it really carefully, but you, you can't argue with the effectiveness. It does work the way it's advertised. You roll Sonic into the little trigger, and it sets the gimmick off. And, uh, for purely pragmatic purposes, it actually is kind of cool that you can do this because it makes this so easy to dust now. The, on, the, on the former Eggmobile, this gets so dusty and it's hard to get a, a cloth in there to wipe the dust off. Oh, and if you want to fire the Eggman missiles, as you can see, Eggman stands in there. There's just enough room to get your fingers in, but I think... Yes, you can totally fire the missiles just by turning Eggman around slightly. At least the right missile, because it doesn't seem that you can... Oh, you can do it with the left one. Yeah, so turn Eggman around, he becomes an impromptu switch. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm pretty sure one of those just fired under a piece of furniture, so I better go fetch it. Now, I was comparing this to BurnBot just a bit ago because it's that exploding gimmick when you hit the switch, but one weakness of BurnBot is that you can always accidentally set the gimmick off when you're messing with him. Because if you press down on the guns, then his torso explodes. And sometimes you don't really want that to happen. You just want BurnBot to be a robot figure. Well, I don't... Um, they, they, they cleverly engineered this. Because look. I'm hitting the trigger. I mean, the Sonic figure just rolling into this thing was enough to trigger it. But, like, it does not go off by accident. So... What happens is, when the Sonic figure hits, it hits right here at the bottom. Really? And look, even now I'm having a hard time triggering it. You have to hit it right at the bottom of the trigger to send it going into the activation button. And Sonic's rolling into it hits the spot perfectly but just casually messing around with the toy, it would be very difficult to actually set that off. It's really well made. I have to give kudos, because that is a brilliant design. It's, it's really great. So you can have Eggman in an egg pod that you can shoot missiles from and have him ride in, but you don't have to worry about the size of it flying off while you're messing around. That is really good. The gimmick is perfectly implemented and does not negatively impact the toy at all. How often can you say that? That a gimmick is implemented in a toy and does not affect the toy's displayability or other playabilities. It's, it's ingenious. I am flabbergasted. That is a brilliant bit of engineering. Kudos, Tommy. You definitely knocked this one out of the park. Well, with that being said, that's all there is to say about this new playset. I actually would highly recommend it, even if you already have Dr. Eggman's original Eggmobile. Um, yeah, like, it... Like, there's a lot of things that this set does that I normally don't like. Like, you have a, a Sonic figure in a pre-assumed pose, but it's okay because the pre-assumed pose works for, for riding on the board or assuming breakdance poses. It homages, the, um, it homages something from before, like with the free rider's glasses that Sonic is wearing. And it has gimmicks incorporated into a piece of toy that you would want to display sometimes. And the gimmick doesn't impact its displayability. It's, it's A plus all around. This set is awesome. So, yes, by all means, get this Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman playset. You can find it at Toys R Us for about 20 bucks. This is Wake Angel 2001, signing off.